Hey, Zell. Keep him busy. You're not the only one that keeps me on my toes. Just your favorite? Of course. What's on the docket? Basic repairs? Always. Plus, I'm refurbishing the inner lining of Wright's Javelin. And Sentinel Hayden's getting extra lumber support whether he likes it or not. It's an easy ad. Small comforts make a big difference. People underestimate that. Those comforts make life better out there, even if you don't notice it every day. I like to think that matters. Especially since my son told me he's going to be a freelancer. How old is he? Eleven. He'll want to be a dozen things before I have to worry. But I still worry. There are risks, sure, but there's nothing like being out there helping people, seeing the world, flying. It's not the worst dream for a kid to have. You're not wrong. The world's chaos. If he can dream about good things that could come out of it, why not let him? Tomorrow we'll want to be a Korox teamer anyway. Besides, if he becomes a freelancer, you'll have his suit in top shape. That should give you some peace of mind. Not sure that works when you're the pilot's mother. It barely works with the rest of you. Because we're your favorites? Always. This Owen business is serious. Where is he? I don't know. That's what I thought you'd say. Then why ask? No harm in checking. After all, he was your cipher. Yeah, he was my cipher. Not anymore. Let's cut to the chase. You teamed up with a traitor. Are you questioning me? I'm wondering why you teamed up with Owen. Why not? I was looking for work and I needed a cipher. But he wasn't the best cipher available. Are you implying something? No, but Owen was a curious choice. Owen may be a treacherous scarbag. He was always a solid cipher. I still don't get how you started working together. After the heart of rage, I was alone. I wanted to get back to work. And Owen was out of work, I'm guessing. You got it. He was looking for a freelancer. At that point, I didn't care who I partnered with. Why are you pushing this so hard? It's my job to ask questions. You know I trust you, right? Sure. And for the record? Yes. Owen was a bit odd, but I never took him for a traitor. And for the record, I didn't either. Freelancer. My favorite customer. Thought I'd drop by, say hello. So, I'm surprised you never took up flying a javelin, Prospero. I told you that story about the Titan we followed? Well, after that, I gave the Lancer thing a shot. I bet you were a pretty good one. <laughs> well, yeah. My aim was pretty wicked. It's just... What? Uh, it's hard to be a freelancer from the ground. I'm only telling you this because I like you. But... It freaked me out. I'm afraid of heights. You just need to get used to it. Give it some time. You adjust. You can't adjust to hurtling through the air faster than a wyvern ever dreamed, looking down then realizing the only thing between you and the ground is nothing. Don't look down then. Too late. By that point, you slammed into a cliff and smeared bits of yourself all over the place. Best not to overthink it. Oh, I had plenty of thoughts at the time. Most of them involving language I shouldn't repeat. But the one that mattered was this. If I couldn't fly, I had to help those who do. What did you decide? I'd seen that Titan. I knew what this world could throw at us. So, I decided to throw it right back. Deliver some of our own fearful awe. Prospero style. You had the right idea. Instill confidence, not just in the freelancers but in the people we need supporting us. Thank you for that. Some folks think I'm just another merchant with something to sell. You're selling victory. Heh. <laughs> now you're thinking like me. It's all about presentation. You sold me. 
I'll see you later, Prospero. Till next time. Freelancer, you're back. Good. You got something for me? Maybe. I mean, yes. Okay, I do. I order sentinels out beyond the fort to investigate the unusual scar activity we've been seeing. They didn't report back. Oh. I made a mistake, and I owe it to them to finish this. Properly. You'll still get paid, but this isn't an official sentinel contract. More like... a favor. For... a friend. I'll do whatever I can. Just point me in the right direction. I will. They really need... You're just the freelancer I've been waiting for. Thanks, Pernal. How's the petition going? Quite well. I have high hopes we'll be seeing improved safety policy in the near future. But we should discuss another matter that may impact you as a freelancer. All right. I wouldn't be so casual. If we don't deal with this, someone is going to die. Really? You sure you're not overestimating the danger? Not at all. If you allow me to outline the situation, I'm sure you'll agree with my assessment. I'm waiting. The Javelin launch deck has no safety rail. <laughs> Good one, Berndel. I thought you were serious. I'm not joking. The deck is extremely dangerous for maintenance workers. Arlick Janky slipped off the edge during his morning cleaning shift. Is he okay? He broke both legs, one index finger, three ribs, and his nose. He's okay now, but... He's still walking a little funny. And he makes a whistling sound when he breathes. I'm sorry to hear that. Is there anything I can do? Yes. Support my proposal to install safety railings on the launch deck. But javelins might catch on the railings when they launch. That's a good point. Hmm. I've got it. Tethered safety harnesses. Thanks for helping me come up with a solution. You're welcome. I only wish the rest of this fort shared your concern for safety. Freelancer, any progress with my husband? Nadir, I have to tell you something, but I'm not sure how. This doesn't sound like good news. No. Then it depends on how bad it is. In Corvus, I sometimes massage the news to avoid even worse damage. So let's hear it. Is Leighton okay? Leighton's made a breakthrough. That's the good news. The memory that's bothering him, he knows what it is. That's fantastic. You mean Aurora? Well, that's also the bad news. Leighton, he isn't really a defector. You're Aurora. Of course. Damn. I had a bad feeling about this. Part of me did, anyway. I didn't want it to be true. But when you mentioned Aurora, it connected some dots. I am glad I could help. I don't really know. I'm sorry it went like this. I needed a neutral party to work it out. If I'd confronted him directly, I don't know what would have happened. Now that we know, we've still got an enemy agent living here in Fort Tarsus. But he's not an enemy to me. My feelings for him aren't a lie. I don't think his are either. Maybe the Persona's feelings for you, the latent programmed by the Dominion, but the real ones underneath. Did you speak to him? The real one? 
The real Leighton said he still loves you. He pulled away because he doesn't want to lose you. That's good to hear. Yet you seem worried. If Tassin finds out... It is her job. I know. And her job will be to handle Leighton. It won't be good. If you don't mind, it's time we both talk to him. I'll meet you there when you're ready. Had to give up Lansing altogether. What's going on, Faye? Perfect timing. Our food just arrived. What do we need snacks for? Not that I'm complaining. Get comfy. You're starting me in the middle? I thought we should start with one of the good bits. We can always go back later. So this show's your favorite, right? What do you like about it? Radio shows are often static. The adventures are formulaic. The motivation stays the same year after year. In Dawnguard, people change. They grow over the course of episodes. Sometimes better, sometimes worse. You want them to get worse over time? Hating characters is the most fun. Sure, but you can't hate them all. You gotta have some favorites, right? Hawking's my favorite. And the Cypher, of course, but she doesn't join the cast for two more episodes. I'll watch for them then. Wait, it ended with rocks falling? How could it end with rocks falling? It's a cliffhanger. Radio shows always do that. How will they shoot an avalanche? Maybe they don't solve every problem by shooting something. I can't imagine living like that. That's what makes it good escapism. We'll do this again soon. Hopefully before we hit the cataclysm. The next one will make a believer of you. Just you wait. In the depths of this ruin. Tell me that something is the relic. What did you think of Dawnguard? Easily. If you're not an action fan, I maybe we'll try to catch the pop. Relic. Brace yourself. We're really gonna build our own javelin of dawn? You think we can pull this off? What I say about looking too far ahead, focus on the here and now. Right now, we need materials and information. That means we need connections. Corvus gave me this job. Can't they help us out? When was the last time government agency got anything done fast? Point taken. So, connections, who do we need? Arcanists are the obvious one. Weird and impossible are their specialties. I already have an Arcanist contact, Matthias Sumner. I'll see what he can do for us. Good. Next is the Sentinels. They've got javelins, parts, and contacts in Antium. Fortunately, there's a Sentinel Dax who's been looking for you. She's supposed to be a bigwig of some sort. Might be just what we need. Huh. What's an important Sentinel want with me? Worth finding out, right? Meanwhile, there's plenty of other stuff you can find for the shield. What do we need? We need materials. And they're not easy to get. Faye gave me a list. We need some kind of metal that's only found inside the heart of a titan. I have to hunt down a titan? You weren't kidding about the not easy part. Scars are always scavenging around Shaper ruins. They might have found our metal too. Your run-of-the-mill Scar won't have a titan heart stashed away. A Scar I might. Maybe Luminary, if you can find one. Don't know if that's worse than titan hunting, really. Great. So I'll either go hunt a titan or just ask a Luminary very politely for it. No problem. Hey. We got this. Just do one thing at a time, yeah? Hey, Alec. You know, people always tell me, Alec, your good looks and charm, you could be a governor or something. Uh, which people? You know, people. And I say, no thanks. A governor doesn't get their hands dirty figuring out how the world works. Freelancers do. Don't ever forget that. 
It's one of the things I like about this job. Like my old javelin I'm fixing up. The seal, the gateway, they're all part of a finely crafted machine. Tune it properly, and you can fly. Forget to oil a gear, and it's just a hunk of metal. What about the world? Just a fancy machine. Faith think there's more to it. The anthem and all that energy of creation. I think the Shapers like to tinker. That's what the relics are for. Gears to make the world run. Hopefully the Shapers' plans were to make things run better. I think it works both ways. How so? Well, the mechanic in me sees a world tuned for both life and death. Both can be a bitch. Though, the Shapers nailed the waterfalls. I figured you'd hate the Shapers. Hard to rage and all. I got enough problems. I don't want to hate the whole damn world, too. Figured being a freelancer is a way to prove otherwise. You should have been an arcanist. Ha! Huh. Right. Because the answer to the world is in some book? I don't think so. <laughs> a lot more fun tricking around the jungle in a metal suit, scaring the crap out of Grabbits. Hey, Max. How's business? Business is great. Loads more people are stopping by. Of course, they're claiming the Dominion's coming and we're all gonna die, so it might not stay good. That's not going to happen. Oh, I never bet against the house. So what'll it be this time, freelancer? My friend Faye brought a tape player in here. How hard would it be to get more Dawnguard episodes? Dawnguard, huh? They make that one in Antium. Radio broadcast doesn't reach that far. For it to play here, someone's got to bring tapes by Strider. Slow. Expensive. Oh, uh, so the answer is hard. Okay. I'll owe you a favor. You can collect it whenever you want. You got a deal. You might regret not putting any limits on that one, though. All sorts of things I could use a spare freelancer for. Some of them are even legal. Well, now I'm a little worried. Relax. I won't ask you to pants Commander Vool. Probably. Make that extremely worried. Come back later. I'll get your tapes. It'll be fine. More or less. Hello, my name's Amal, and I'm your bartender. Freelancer. Nice to meet you. Did you recognize my voice when I said freelancer? Was I supposed to? Well, I was in season one of Dawn Guard, so I thought you might. Really? What was your character's name? Sentinel 2. Sentinel 1 got to open the gate, but I was always at his shoulder. Just in the first season? Yeah, in the second to the last episode of season one, I got killed by a scorpion. That's too bad. Yeah, but that's life, right? You gotta be tough if you want to be an actor. Who knows? Maybe you'll get another shot. You're probably right. I don't think Dongard appreciated me. Hey, you're pretty smart. I could use your advice. Okay. So there's this lady that comes to the bar, and I think she's attracted to me. What makes you think that? She said, and I quote, 
I'm super attracted to you. So, what's the problem? First, she's married. Second, to an aggressive Lancer. And third, I am terrible at saying no. How do you think I should handle this? Just pretend you're playing a character who's great at saying no. That's a great idea. I'll act my way out of this. I think my character will be firm, but friendly. Just like Sentinel 2, you know? My role in Dawn Guard. Sounds like you got this. You are a wise person. I'm not gonna forget this. If I ever get into a jam, I know who I'll come to for help. Great. The freelancer that survived the Heart of Rage? I thought you'd be... What? I thought you'd be bigger. Hey! Thief! One sec. Go! Oh! I was three steps away, Carney. You had no chance. I got this! Everything's fine. Hey! We can do this later. My aunt disappeared in the jungle. I'm sorry to hear that. I don't find missing people. It was ten years ago. She's dead now. I don't find missing corpses either. That's not what I'm after. Ever heard of the Emerald Abyss? A jungle region where dozens of people have vanished. Including my aunt, a royal cartographer. Gone without a trace. A royal cartographer? Not just any, the best. <sighs> Beautiful. My aunt left a journal. She was onto something big. No. Legend has it, the first time anyone vanished in the Emerald Abyss was the same day the Heart of Rage appeared. That's why I'm here. Right. That time you went into the Heart? Yeah, an entire merchant caravan was never heard from again. My lady. My aunt's journal proves there's a connection between the Heart of Rage and the Emerald Abyss. One of the world's biggest mysteries just waiting for us to solve. So, you in? I need to see that journal. Sentinel ducks! Damn it. Don't go anywhere. Commander! What is going on here? Keeping the streets safe, sir. Notice this undesirable entering the premises. Stole that citizen's bag. That is not your job. You file reports. At your desk. You... It's no matter. Your family has ordered you home. To Antium? Immediately. Beautiful. Come with me. Now! I'll contact your cipher. We'll set up a meet. Explain everything, okay? There she goes. Lady Adaxia Mirava Ladell. Third in line for the throne of Antium. A glorious sight. What? You mean Dax? Of course. Lady Adaxia is the most eligible unmarried woman in the world. She will be mine. How'd it go with Sentinel Dax? You could have told me I was meeting royalty. Ha! <laughs> Where's the fun in that? Dax gave us a location outside the walls. Meet her there when you're ready. If Dax is third in line for the throne, what's she doing with the Sentinels? I abhor gossip, but her family forced her to join. Something about learning discipline? Good training for a future Empress. Yes, well, she could be a little more diligent in her lessons. 
But all the more reason she'll need someone reliable at her side. And you're volunteering. I made the journey in person to show commitment. I hope she appreciates my sacrifice. I'm sure you'll be, uh, duly rewarded. I better. None of her other suitors braved this backwater. Yes, you are very brave. <laughs> Sarcasm. How very lower class. Good day to you. What have you been up to? You'll love it. Okay, it's called the Manifold. Well, technically I call it the Manifold. And it does what exactly? For years, I had heard of a type of Shaper Relic that was able to amplify and augment the qualities of other objects. Never encountered one, never knew anyone that had, but thanks to the Elysian Manuscript, I think I know where one is. Right here in Bastion. And you think it'll amplify and augment the power of my javelin? Precisely. Excited yet? Uh... Not to worry. Once we find the manifold, get it working, you will be. Guaranteed. First, the manifold. Then, we boost your javelin. You silence the heart of rage, and boom! Everyone lives happily ever after. It's a little more complicated than that. Ah, details. I've sent all the particulars of the location to Faye. I can't wait. Heard Tassin mumbling about the Dominion? Did you know I once hid in a mound of rotting fungus to avoid one of their patrols? Rashes for days. Hey, how are things here? We've got freelancers going in and out, work getting done. I've got reports and charts flying all over. Never dull. How about you? You holding up? I'm out there doing what I love. That's what matters. <laughs> no argument there. Good attitude, clear head. They get you through, right? You know. If anyone's got a good attitude. Hey, I'm as human as anyone. We've all had that job that should have been different. What's yours? <sighs> you want sad story corner? All right. The Heart of Rage mission, a few years back. I was supposed to go too. I did something stupid, got injured before heading out. Someone took my place. They lost the cipher. Maybe their life. That doesn't compare to you, but you felt guilty? Yeah. Everyone else called me lucky. It wasn't your fault. I know that now. But hey, I appreciate it. We have to support each other on both sides of the wall. Okay, enough of my sob story. It's a new day, right? Let's get back to it. Sounds good. See you later, Jack. You got it. Don't forget to check in.